Today uh, we're going to work on some 3D pores. These will be acrylic pores. Uh, I've experimented with this a few times and I am surely open for any suggestions and tips. Um, there's a lot of people out there doing acrylic pouring. Uh, a few in 3D. Um, and uh, I guess for the wood turner to start off, uh, I've turned this, the outside of it, put my tenon on and, and sanded it to 320. Just prepping the surface and uh, sealed it. And uh, I've also protected my tenon somewhat. Uh, I mean, you can go back in and, and uh, reform these. As you can see, I did a pour on this already. I don't know if you can see that. And return the back off because I didn't like it. Um, I'll show you a couple examples of some finished products. Uh, these are something we have in our Etsy shop, but this is kind of what we're going for. Um, today's goal is basically to get the pour more, uh, cons I guess, concentric would be the word, um, where it's more like waves going down the bowl instead of like runs almost. Uh, this was done with acrylic paints and also uh, blow trawl and uh, a little bit of silicon and, and some of the colors, not all of them. And then it's uh, finish coated with a, a polyacrylic. You know, I, I guess from a wood turning standpoint of view, I typically wouldn't paint a bowl unless, uh, like this one and this one, another example, they're rather uh, plain, <laughs> to say the least. The uh, I, I got a nice log of flame box cylinder, and and there was several pieces in it that were rather plain. So this is a good way to utilize the wood, and uh, well, we'll get on get on with it. Okay, I got my paints mixed up. Um, these are the ones for the first pour is going to be what they call a flip cup except I'm not going to flip the cup I'm going to pour my paints in inverse order and lift the, the tube it's, uh, it's hard to manage uh, you know like they do with a canvas well you can't really do it too well with your hands up inside the bowl so and the paints I'm using for this one are uh, I've got uh, chroma Josanias uh, acrylics that are iridescent in three different colors and uh, then Artist Loft uh, you got, I got Mars Black and uh, Violet get them out of the way and I'm trying try to make sure that it's for the most part somewhat level by eye and I've taped off, off my tenon with a kind of a domed cup underneath it uh, so that it runs off fairly evenly. Uh, I found that, that if it pools for too long it tends to mix a lot and then you get kind of muddy colors and I really don't want the colors to mix a lot. So we'll get started here. Okay, in, in this uh, I'm going to start with the colors as I want them in order unlike a flip cup you kind of do them in reverse order uh, this is going to be in order and I put uh, silicon in the purple and also the uh, Jasanya gold which I forgot to mention I guess there's a, a light gold by Jasanya also all right here we go reach these so I'm gonna move over here. purple and the uh, black, I'm going to have that mix a little bit so I'm pouring from a relatively high area right into the center. And you surely don't want to have, you don't want to skimp on the paint because uh, my experience is showing that uh, that looks a little thick. Oh well. 
Now the iridescence, I'm going to go around the outside slowly. I don't want them to mix a lot. Thick. Oh well, too late now. <laughs> I still haven't figured out whether it's better to have them thinner or thicker with this uh, 3D pour. Maybe somebody could comment on that, what their experience is with that. Uh, I'd appreciate it. So I need all the help I can get. Okay, we're ready to lift the cup and uh, let's see what happens. I did put silicon in the three colors, the gold, the, uh, oh, the two colors, the gold and the, uh, I'm just trying to pop any air bubbles and Now, the Jasanya iridescence, all you see is kind of a whitish color. And uh, it doesn't re they don't really show up very well uh, until they, they're fully dry and, and then you start to see the different colors of them. Um, I've used them in the past and they're quite nice. I like them. Oh, that's cool. All right, now we'll move on to the next one. Alright, the second pour we've got, uh, since I ran out, uh, I've got a combination of uh, Cerulean and, I can't even say it, Phalo Cayenne Blue, and then also the uh, Arisloff White, that's Titanium White, and uh, Aqua Green, and Lemon Yellow. See, I've put silicone in the three colors, not in the white. And since I want the white on top to sink down through the paint, um, I'm going to put the white in first. And, uh, well, here we go. And again, I'm going with, there's a, I wish I could remember the name, but there, there's a uh, YouTuber that uh, is out of Spain. And she does a lot of 3D pours, and uh, it looks to me like she's using an awful lot of paint. So that's what I'm going to try this time. And I'm going to uh, allow these to mix a little. So I'm pouring from a fairly high, good height, whatever you want to say. I don't care.
Oh, that uh, blue also had a little bit of uh, uh, interference medium in it for a little bit of a metallic or pearlescent, however you want to put it. like four degrees out. Beautiful day. Garage door was shut, froze shut this morning. better down here. You can do anything you want with these, I suppose. Uh, get right down to it. Um, but I kind of like to leave it alone, uh, just because I have a tendency to really mess things up. You know that that never know when to stop. got a couple of uh, urns, uh, hollow forms, whatever you want to call them, that I'm going to do also. I've done one already, and uh, the other two I did, and I turned all of it, the meat back off because I want to redo them. I don't like them. And that's, you know, if you leave a sufficient amount of material in the, in the bowl and the wall thickness, you can, you know, if you don't like it, you can turn it back off. And, uh, Try again. It's starting to go. Yeah, I get a little bit of cellular activity. Some nice veining in here. I don't know if you can see it.
Uh, I, I'm thinking that, that I'm probably going to start doing this on a, on like a, uh, a wall panel, like a canvas, but not a canvas, not a board. I don't know what you call it, hardboard. It, so that I can utilize these paints instead of just, you know, I, I've got several skins from them, but I don't know what to do with them, so. One thing, if you're turning these uh, after they've dried and cured, you probably want to let them sit for a week before you start to work with them. Uh, that's what I've been doing. It seems to be working out all right. But before you start to do finishing work on this, you definitely want to clean it. Um, Windex works good. Um, because it will, uh, where the silicon uh, comes back through, it will interfere with your finishes. I mean, as you know, when I used to do flat work, the uh, you know silicon on a on a set of coverage or something was a big problem. Polluted finish, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's okay. I'd like to see more yellow, but. And this one here, quite nice. I like this. This turned out. I like it. Yeah, I guess it's in the eye of the beholder. So in, in all, I probably got about, I don't know, probably four dollars worth of paint and about two dollars worth of float trawl. It's not bad as far as that goes. Um, I'd like to do it with resin, but I want to set up my, I've got an old lathe, I'm going to set up to where I can turn it at a very, very slow RPM to keep the resin from running. Uh, I've seen that idea of the uh, Molthorps, they are pretty good artists and uh, they do that with their finish. Next time when uh, when you come back to visit, uh, I'll have some finished photos of this up. Um, due to the fact it's just it, it'll take probably two weeks minimum to get them to a finished state, um, and you'll be able to see them at that point. Or you could just uh, visit our Etsy shop; they'll be on there uh, eventually. Um, next time I think uh, we'll do those urns uh, also in a. A little bit different. Uh, one I'm going to do a pour, and one I'm going to do a pour and a swipe on it. Uh, so, look forward to seeing you next time. Talk to you later.